A new report out by AARP is highlighting alarming new information. As Long Island's population ages rapidly, the report claims those taking care of aging loved ones are feeling extremely stressed out. CBS 2's John Diaz has more on what they say needs to be done. There's no question about it. Meryl Manthe loved her late mother, but she says caring for her at the end of her life was challenging. Literally, my life stopped. She had to bring her mom to countless doctor's appointments and did her mom's everyday errands, all while balancing her own life and career. Anybody I talk to in my age group that have parents in a similar situation, we all have horror stories. According to a new report done by AARP New York, more than 40% of Long Island voters Voters age 40 and older are either currently caring for an aging loved one or have previously done so. And the report says most of them, 8 in 10, felt stressed out emotionally and financially due to the responsibilities. Family caregivers should not be overlooked. The governor and state lawmakers can take action this year, right now, to ease those burdens. Officials with AARP are now asking for direct financial assistance for unpaid family caregivers who, on average, spend more than $8,000 per year to care for their loved one, more oversight of paid caregivers, and their biggest ask, $51 million to be added to the state budget, which they say would eliminate the waiting lists with 16,000 people on it looking for services to keep them in their homes. Right, New York State Senator Monica Martinez. These 16,000 people, whether it's food, long-term care, any type of resources to, uh, to help them live, they're not getting it. And experts say as this senior population continues to grow here on Long Island, the state budget needs to keep up with its pace. The latest census showed the median age of Long Island increased more than the state and country, and the 65 and older group rose from almost 14 percent to about 18 percent of the island population. Jim Hurley is a franchise owner of Home Instead, which specializes in home care for seniors. Long-term care at home, which is really the future of health care moving forward. When you come to People being able to take care of their health needs at home, it's just safer. It's cleaner. Which is why he and many others say the state needs to invest more in at-home and family caregiving. From Bayshore, Long Island, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. We reached out to the governor's office for a comment we have not yet heard back.